The Challenger disaster refers to the tragic explosion of NASA's space shuttle Challenger, OV-099, on January 28, 1986, just 73 seconds after liftoff. This catastrophic event resulted in the deaths of all seven crew members on board, including Christ McAuliffe, who was said to be the first teacher in space. The Challenger was launched from Kennedy Space Center in Florida as part of NASA's STS-51 Liter mission. The shuttle was designed to enhance scientific research and facilitate satellite deployment. The crew included experienced astronauts as well as McAuliffe, who was a civilian teacher selected through a national competition to promote educational outreach. As the shuttle ascended, it encountered unusually cold weather which raised concerns among engineers. The night before the launch, temperatures dropped significantly, leading to doubts about the integrity of the O-rings in the solid rocket boosters. Despite these concerns, NASA officials decided to proceed with the launch. At 11.38 a.m. EST, just over a minute after liftoff, the Challenger experienced a catastrophic failure when an O-ring in the right solid rocket booster failed leading to the destruction of the external fuel tank. The explosion was visible to thousands of spectators and was broadcast live on television, shocking the nation. The disaster led to a suspension of the space shuttle program and a comprehensive investigation. The Rogers Commission was formed to determine the causes of the accident. It concluded that NASA's organizational culture and decision-making processes contributed to the tragedy. There. Report highlighted the negligence in addressing safety concerns and the pressure to meet launch schedules. The Challenger disaster had a profound impact on NASA and space exploration. It prompted significant changes in safety protocols, engineering practices, and organizational structures. The shuttle program was eventually resumed in 1988, but the disaster served as a stark reminder of their inherent risks of space travel. The legacy of the Challenger disaster continues to influence aerospace safety and policy, emphasizing the need for a culture of safety and open communication within organizations involved in high-risk operations.